looking at their um, around 170 job postings, it's, uh, it's surprising. Amid ongoing turmoil between the government and Alberta doctors, almost 200 new doctor positions are noticed on an international website. They were posted by AHS. Family physician Makaram Zaidi says the number of jobs posted in the last couple of days is unprecedented and believes there's a motive behind it. All of this is being done from by a very well-planned, crafted plan by UCP and the health minister to privatize health care. Several of the almost 200 positions come days after a survey showed 42% of doctors are considering leaving the province. Zaidi says the province is looking to replace them with ones they can exploit. Because these doctors are coming in on a, on a specific contract, they will not be able to uh, uh, have a lot of say with the government. And they would be abused, not even knowingly but what, like what they are doing. And, and this would allow them to privatize health care. Bill 30, introduced earlier this month, would allow more private companies to operate in the province if passed and would allow doctors to move away from the fee-for-service model and be paid by salary. Bill 30 is the first bill to go through. Where we are concerned is about the patient safety. The very public dispute began in February after months of talks failed and the government broke the master agreement, instating sweeping changes to the physician funding model. These 179 positions that are advertised for is, uh, is fewer than in previous years. Um, so um, I, I think that uh, what's happening here is um, uh, a false narrative that's, uh, that's trying to, to be developed. But Zaidi says the recent postings are one more sign Alberta's health care as a public service is in danger. And if it were to be privatized, there are people at risk. Elderly, the people who have multiple health problems, people who cannot buy insurance, people of color and people of lower socioeconomic. Those are the people who would be mostly affected by the new changes. In Calgary, Taylor Brought, City News.